And welcome back. We have lots of sunshine out there right now. Just a few passing clouds. Temperatures did stay on the cool side as we only made it to near 30 degrees for the day today. But we are dry and that trend will continue through most of tomorrow. Currently at North Platte, we have fallen to 28 degrees. Uh, wind south, southwest at 6, mild and dry flow. Uh, does make the uh, wind chill value 22 degrees. So prepare for that as you make your way outside. Other temperatures around the region look like this. Warmer air into our western counties from Hyannis, Ogallala, out toward Imperial into the lower 30s, 31 at Lexington, and even uh, low to mid 30s as you make your way into the sand hills. There's your southerly and westerly wind keeping us dry with uh, just a few clouds out there. Wind speeds 5 to 15 miles per hour. And here's a look at the Doppler radar. The clouds basically centered around Lincoln County, just off to the south and west of North Platte. And that is it for the moisture across the region. We expect mainly clear skies as we make our way through the rest of the evening and overnight. And through the first part of the day tomorrow. That system that gave us the snow now moving into the northeast. And uh, for us, we got this high pressure system in here still on its cool side, but as it moves off to the east, a little bit of a warm sector tomorrow. Then we're keeping our eyes on this storm here, this low pressure that is now over portions of western Montana. That's our next snowmaker. Already issued, we do have winter storm warnings in effect for most of the viewing area, with the exception of Dawson County, and it will not make it as far north as Cherry County in the Valentine area. But for the rest of the viewing area, that winter storm watch will be from 6 a.m. Wednesday to Thursday at noon central time. So be prepared for that. We expect there's probably going to be a warning issued with this one. We got this low pressure system right now over western Montana. It is riding along the jet stream, which will actually put it just off to our south. Now that's an easterly flow that gives us a lot of moisture when we have that direct flow from the uh, Gulf of Mexico. So from North Platte and points off to the south, we think heavy snow is possible uh, Wednesday into early Thursday. Moderate amounts of snow. We're talking to three to six inch range north of North Platte. Maybe south we get into the six to nine inch range. And then lighter amounts as you make your way up toward the Valentine area. It's a little too early for the amounts, but we think that this one is starting to uh, come together and really develop. So we think there is going to be something there for midweek. So as we make our way through this evening, Mainly clear skies, lows in the lower teens, high temperatures tomorrow into the upper 30s to mid 40s. We will have a few more clouds. Then the snow starts to overspread the panhandle as we go through Wednesday morning. By around late morning, should be into central Nebraska. And then it could be heavy and steady at times as we make our way through the day on uh, Wednesday into the morning on Thursday. So here's what it looks like on the map. Here's that low just riding off to the south as soon as we get that easterly flow. The snow develops moving west to east across the region from Tuesday night into the panhandle lasting through midday Thursday into our eastern counties and then a cool high pressure system works its way in so we have another bout of cool air let's take a look at what to expect as we go through the week lower 20s as we go through wednesday and thursday snow should taper off by thursday afternoon and into the evening we start to clear out 30 on friday so still a little cool but then we really warm up lots of sunshine saturday through monday as highs will rise from the upper 40s into the lower 60s we'll be back after this with sports North Platte Public Schools prepare students to become independent thinkers, problem solvers, and lifelong learners. Your child will find a variety of elective offerings, play and musical productions, sports, extracurricular activities, dual credit courses, internships, and career